Well, I can cut that out. I can cut. Yeah. I can cut lots of things out. <laughs> yeah, you're a video whiz. I appreciate those talents. Yeah, I'm good at. I'm good at stuff. Yeah, I mean, like something like "Where Do You Live?" Though it's kind of okay. I live in New York. <laughs> you know, it's like there's not really much to go with. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, that was just an example. I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm kind of multitasking here since I'm going to sleep pretty soon. Okay. So if you hear the background noise, do you mind giving me like just a hot second or so? I'm sorry. I'm just getting food ready for my cats, and I don't want that to interfere with the um with the taping. Oh, well that's should fine. Be, should, should be quick though. Yeah. How many cats do you have? Got three of them. And I just realized I was home all day like a lazy sack. And the cat food container is empty. I work a 10 hour week, so if I don't do it now, I'll forget tomorrow. And then I won't get late tomorrow night. It's not worth the effort. Alright, hold on. Sorry. Can I just put the phone down for a second? I'll let you know I'm back. Sure. Sorry about that. Oh, it's, it's okay. I'm still here. One more second. Alright. And I'm all good. Whenever you want to start things rolling, I'm down. Um, so where did you grow up? Um, I'm actually living in the place that I grew up since I was two years old, right in the heart of Queens, New York. And I can't imagine living anywhere else until I move. Oh, really? So, you live um, near your parents? Yeah, it's a kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time. My mom literally lives down the block, so, you know, she's there when I need her, but she's also there when I don't need her. So it's kind of a big little mix, but I got a lot of friends here not looking to move anytime soon, and I got a good day which I'm outside of my free internet thing, which I'm not making the time for. So, I, I have no complaints, it's all good. Yeah, I understand that. It's like, um, I'm probably answering a question here about the past going forward, I'm sure, but the anger blue side is a, a lot of what I do with that is a lot of the stress rage that I can't express in everyday life. It's just a, like a venting tool. Similar to that is um, with my hobby about I'm a referee professional last one you probably see on every video I have I have little links all over the place but it's really my passion I scream like an angry gym teacher when I'm in the ring and it just it's such such a therapeutic situation can you, can you hear me clearly now? yes I feel like that douchey horizon guy wanted to ask that question yeah that guy's such a douche rag yeah pretty much he's beyond that do you remember actually where you bought that that puppet? Um, it's, it's a funny story. I was um, just bullshitting with my wife after going through a training class at, a, at, at my job. And I just said to her in passing, almost half kidding, you know, I'm thinking about doing this silly little parody of the street that everybody knows I'm kind of parodying. And it would be cool if you could get me a puppet. And then next day she comes in with a puppet. She's like, oh, it was just city. I was like, a, a street vendor was selling on Main Street for 15 bucks. I hope you don't mind. I picked one up for you. If you want to do it, go for it. I, I, I totally have your back. And that's actually one of the things that makes me and my wife merit so strong is that we just really support each other. You know, we're not the same person, thank God. You know, she, she knows that I have my little things. She has her little things. And we got each other's back through everything. Yeah, that, so it was like a bootleg puppet, like it doesn't have any tags on it or anything? No tags at all. That's why, if, if you notice, and if, if anybody listening to this has somebody in their family with this affliction or somebody themselves, almost looks like Grover with Down syndrome, if you think about it. The list a little bit puffy, face a little sideways, but hey, it's yeah. mine and I love it, you know? Yeah. Hey, just to think of character. Yeah, the retarded ones need love, too. Absolutely. Even more so. Yeah. I yeah. know I know my fourth grade teacher, she had a 
we never used it, but she had this big toy chest of puppets, like voices. They're just pretty much bugging out, just since I was in elementary school, just to piss off teachers, you know. Pretty funny how I'm still doing it at the age of 33. Mm -hmm. Half my subscribers are half my age. I feel like an old man sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's, it's all about expression, you know. If you don't express yourself, you're just going to go crazy one day. Yeah, how do you feel about uh, this uh, nowadays in this? How do you feel about today's society, um, how uh, the humor and the serious shows like uh, uh, stuff has to be upped the shock value anymore, that you have to uh, make jokes about people dying and people um, having a bizarre sex and stuff like that. What do you think about that? I have very mixed feelings about it. On, on, on one hand, it's pretty sad that you have to go that far to get a get a get a laugh out of somebody or even get a reaction. You know, it's like wh wh where does it end? You know, like you could relate it to video games. I grew up on Atari. Pac-Man was the coolest thing ever, and now you have World of Warcraft, where it's like three-dimensional. You're living another life. It's just like no, nobody's ever satisfied anymore. There's just the simplicity of life is gone. But on the other hand, you know, I mean, look at my videos. Um, I curse like a sailor with red syndrome, you know. So it, 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 it's almost like I'm in a contradiction the way I look at things. Yeah. So, uh, what are some of your favorite people that you're subscribed to? Um, especially some that people won't know. I mean, of course, people know the Hill 88 and people like that. But is there some people that people don't know? I'm not talking about myself, of course. I'm talking about people that every time they post a video, you absolutely love them. But they don't have a lot of people that are subscribed to them. Really. Don't have a lot of people subscribed to them. Oh, good thing I'm looking at my computer now. I'll take a quick look at my subscribe list and see who really stands out. Okay. I can tell you that the people who probably most people know about, I find Derek Comedy to be extremely funny. Um, if, if you've ever seen any of their videos, you're familiar with that at all? I don't think so. Yeah, they, they did something recently that was a, a take off of one of my favorite movies, Memento. Um, I'm not going to really tell you what it's about. It's better for the, for the people listening to really get into it. But let's just say that they have an interesting twist on things, very creatively done. Um, others that really get my juices flowing, there's a um, comedy troupe called Poik Pack, who just does different skits, um, P, and then there's a zero Y K P A C. Um, they did a whole do out thing about having to get give people ahead in order to get ahead of society in order to solve problems. Um, Mr. Safety Corey Williams is actually one of the main reasons why I'm doing this at all. He he and I share actually a flight disorder called uh, attention hyper deficit disorder or ADHD. I know that initials, I don't give a shit enough in order to really learn that much about it, I just know, know what it is, and um, you know, he, he, his videos are very inspirational, he, he does a great mix, which I'm trying to emulate a little bit, where some is funny, some's over the top, some is just plain stupid, and then others just try to make you think and even make you cry a couple of times. D did you uh, th thoroughly think about how your character was going to be before you did it, or does it just develop with each video? Uh, I, the only thing I thought about when I first developed my character is I think it would be hysterical to do a takeoff on Grover's illegitimate bastard son being so pissed off about being thrown in a dumpster. And that was the only video I was actually planning on making. And I was thinking, oh, what am I going to do from here? And then just things pop in my head. One, one thing that I find helps greatly is I walk around with a pen and a pen when I have a thought come into my head that I find funny, I write it down, and then when I get a chance to really think it over, I look over what I write down, and hey, this looks interesting, and I just kind of go with it. Okay, how did you just have to do the serious videos? Uh, that's a good point, mostly because I'm just real fucking lazy. Um, I figure to myself, you know something, there's more, more than one side to anybody's personality. The angry blue sock is nothing more than me just turned up about a thousand notches or so. So just like just like I'm sure you are, there's a serious side, there's a comic side.